Yay! From Casper Nyovest, expressing how the shortcomings of the government, as well as the cost of living, is affecting him. To Nota, naming and shaming some of AKA's killers. It's safe to say, Kumap et upe tu esauda. KO! You motherfucker, you! Ndogozom Zuli, you motherfucker! Your brother, your blood brother watched when Tony and Lin's son got his brains blown out. My problem is this though. Why is it that when I'm watching the video of my friend getting killed, I see KO's brother just standing there doing nothing, watching him. KO's brother's job is to make sure that AKA the super mega gets home safe after every show. Why is KO not making sure that AKA got home safe? So I text KO, is your brother safe? Is he cool? Nothing. Nothing. I don't hear anything. I text KO about him dissing Ntugza's wife and the effect that might have on Ntugza's kids and their relationship. He texted essays immediately. His brother's well-being can't say anything. We see the video, his brother watches KO die. Why does KO not do anything about it? Here, let, let me get some clarity some people are wondering why i posted yo durban we need answers i'm talking about the people from durban the durban nightlife the durban lifestyle everybody from durban the durban the town is small durban is a small town word gets around guys word gets around the people that were involved in plotting and planning aka's assassination were there they party with you guys every weekend you understand so you know who these guys are you know who these guys are. You party with them. I told you who are my first five suspects. In fact, my first six suspects. My first six suspects. My other suspect is KO. Because KO hasn't answered for why his brother watched AKA die. He won't talk to his other brother. His other home in Dogza. He won't tell me what's going on between uh, him and his brother that is supposed to make sure that AK is home safe. You appear on my timeline. Timeline, you become a household name. Named my uh, suspects Sasso from Dream Team. Sasso must say something. Say so. Did you give them the say so? Say so? Did you give them the say so? I saw say so walking with Trey. Yeah, clean. And then say so is in the club. You watch the guy get shot in front of you and then you're in the club later. Why? Why? Why are you in the club? Trying to make tributes, trying to make these tribute videos and all this type of shit trying to make us feel like you guys feel bad you guys don't feel bad you guys did what you were trying to do you feel bad about tids not about keenan though the only foul play we see is the foul play of murdering keenan we saw the foul play we saw how sasso led him out looked across the street okay even god oh oh don't design you saw the gabi oh yeah he's on that side okay and the other gabi yeah you're hiding him Shield him, shield this Ngabi. So they got Don Design and this other uh, bouncer from the club shielding the Ngabi so that he can't be seen, so that Keenan feels comfortable. Cool, Keenan is still saying goodbye to his friend. Cool, the Ngabis think to themselves, yo, it's better to kill him here in the streets than in the car. In the car, the bullet might ricochet of shit, it might be more difficult. It looks like they planned to have him right there in the back seat and they were planning to have him shoot him from both ends of, of the car, but he wasn't getting into the car. And the driver's also not getting into the car. Keenan's not going to be the first one in the car. He's the artist. Why is the artist standing on the furthest side? Why is he unshielded, unguarded, unprotected? You never allow an artist to be unguarded, unprotected. Come on. Come on. You, you never do that. That's amateur night. That's amateur night. See ya. You know that. You know that. That is leaving a guy for dead. Yanga, we need the, we need the truth. You know too much. You know a lot. Why is Yanga calling me saying, oh no, how can you say that about Don Design, Don Design? I say, Yanga, I analyzed that video myself. What are you saying? Motherfucker, you lived in my house. You lived under my roof. When you call me, you greet me like I'm your father. I took care of you. You 1987 born, 36 year old, can't take care of himself, ass nigga. You understand? Your whole entire career is because I kept you in Joburg. You would have been in Queenstown at your mom's house, suffering, struggling. But my mom treated you like her own son. My family treated you like part of the family. I treated you like part of the family. I made sure that your rent is paid. You're looking good, you're nice. What did you do? You got jealous and you wanted what I had. You can't have what I have, dog. As young chief, how am I going to now perform all these songs that I did with Keenan 
and everything else. I'm not be heartbroken that he was taken so brutally. I'm not angry. I'm not screaming at my phone every day. I'm young, a chief. I'm AKA's right hand man, right? Right hand man, right? So why is the right hand man, why is AKA's Gustavo not angry? Why is AKA's Gustavo looking like he's happy AKA's gone? Huh? Is there is there more money for you now? Is there more cheese for you now, younger? Is that what you want? Huh? That's why I got rid of you, you motherfucker. You would have had me killed, dog. I took care of you and you would have had me killed. I gave you my Viano for a year. You brought it back after using it. You didn't even service it. You didn't even take care of my shit, dog. Appreciative. Then you say I turned my back on you. I kept you alive, dog. I gave you dignity. And you say I turned my back on you. I took care of all of you. You're take care of your family because of me. All of you, motherfuckers. You ungrateful because You killed Keenan. Tibbs is a motherfucking lifesaver. Real life, dog. In and as sad as we are, that we go, we need to thank that Tibbs was there to ensure that we got the footage. So how they took him, how his friends took him out. If you want to know why I flew to Cape Town to be there with Keenan for his lowest, it's because I knew that around him. Go to chat GPT, use AI, use facial recognition technology, crack the case. Guys, you guys have got everything on the internet. You need all the resources. Crack the case, put it up on YouTube, the entire thing, and open, shut, open and shut the case for people. If you work at the banks, these guys, a lot of them, they bank with FNB. Look up their names. If you work at FNB, all my colored O's that work at FNB, look up these guys' bank accounts. Look up bank accounts, FNB especially. A lot of these guys that were involved use FNB bank accounts. Look at how their money is flowing in those FNB bank accounts. All my O's, all my Owens that work at FNB, look at their FNB accounts. Look how the money's been flowing there, guys. Do your own investigations. Dala. You can't convince us that you guys sent the super mega an international, a global superstar to a club that has been closed for over a month to reopen this club with less than 24 hour promo, you're promoting it the day before, how does this club have money to book the super mega and not have a reopening or a proper launch or a rollout or anything, come on, we've been in this business for a long time dude, we've been in this business for a long time dude you're looking at 21-year veterans. We've been in this business before, a.k.a. been in this business, some of us. You understand? You understand? So you're not going to make us understand this. this is not, we're not going to play these fucking games that you guys are playing with the media that you guys control. We control a, another alternate media. And this is why we built this media. So you motherfuckers can't lie to people. That's why I did that shit. That's why I killed all you mainstream media motherfuckers. You're dead. You're dead. AKA and Tibbs were at two separate venues, at two separate times, with two different groups of people. They know each other, they step out, and then they bump into each other. They greet as they're leaving. They're both leaving, going their separate ways. They hug and embrace because they haven't seen each other in a long time. And because they're not planning to see each other later, so that's why they had a long hug and embrace. But either way, they're standing in formation. They stand right next to each other. Cool, Tibbs is the only one that's, you know, Keenan was standing by himself. If you remove tips from the picture and you re realize that he was a third party that was added there, Keenan was actually standing by himself with his entire team watching him but turning their heads and looking the other way right as the shot was fired. Even though they saw the guy approaching with a gun raised and everything else and they didn't warn Keenan and they looked out for the shooters first. Come on, guys. Let me tell you what proves that it was the police that did it. The, 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 the plan was the way the police described the crime actually was supposed to happen. And that's the CCTV showed us that's not how the crime happened. So that was the plan. And that's how we know that was the plan. The plan was to hit him as he's getting into the car. He wasn't even getting into the car. He wasn't even getting into the car. The driver is, is, is right there and Keenan knows not to get into the car when the driver is not even in the car. He knows not to do that. Every artist knows, why would I get into a car with the driver's not there? Do you understand what I'm saying? The, 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 the police, the first report they gave us was what the plan was supposed to be. The plan was supposed to be, as he's walking to the car, that guy comes out from in front of the pole, right? Because he's going to be right there and shoots him six times. That was what the plan was supposed to be. It didn't happen like that because the shooter saw his shot.
On the 10th of February, 2023, Kenan Jared Forbes, a.k.a. a.k.a., was assassinated by what appears to be a female Nkabi. Listen, you fucking bitches, you fucking celebrities, you fucking female celebrities. You want Cairo to grow up without a fucking father. You're saying nothing, you fucking female celebrities, all of you fucking bitches. You fucking bitches, all of you fucking bitches. You're saying nothing. You're saying nothing. You want Cairo to grow up without a fucking fa father. You're happy that Cairo's gonna grow up without a father. That's what you're happy about, you bitches. How dare you, women? You, you're disgusting. You're filthy, you fucking kafir bitches. You women are kafirs. Listen, to all the colored people, let, unless these guys start talking, unless these guys start talking, let them never say another word. Let them never say another word. If they don't talk, let them hold their peace forever and ever. Wherever Kenan goes, they can go to. Fuck! Speculations pertaining to who hired the two assassins who ended up killing both AKA and his friend Tibbs are still making the rounds. Fingers are pointing in the direction of the Dembes as the life of their beloved daughter, sister, and niece, Anele Dembe, was cut short at the hands of AKA, allegedly. It is believed that if AKA and Anele Dembe never crossed paths, both of them would still be alive today, and that their toxic relationship led to the murder of Anele, which was disguised as her taking her own life. Hence, her family is currently suing the NPA for refusing to prosecute AKA even in the presence of damning evidence that proves that he murdered Anele. Allegedly, the Dembe family lawyer alleges that the Dembe family believes that Anele was either pushed or thrown over the balcony of their hotel room at the Pepper Club Hotel in Cape Town two years ago, as there were no fingerprints on the balcony suggesting that she climbed over it, but there were scratch marks going in an upward direction on AKA's back showing that Anele was holding on for dear life while hanging over AKA's shoulder before he threw her over the balcony. It is alleged that AKA opted to remove all the blood stains and spatters in their room instead of checking on his fiance Anele Dembe, who was still fighting for her life after hitting the ground from the 10th floor. A witness who performed CPR on Anele further asserted that this came after the two lovebirds had gotten into a disturbing altercation where Anele was heard pleading with AKA to leave her alone. Many feel that the Dembes had every right to take matters into their own hands. Others feel that AKA was far too cocky to come to Durban after having received multiple warnings and being banned from setting foot on the soils of his late fiancé's city. Considering the fact that Itala Aliboli Perhaps NPOs fighting for women's rights decided to go the quote-unquote an eye for an eye route. Or maybe his friends were sick and tired of him being the Beyonce of the group. Thus, they collaborated with those who wanted to take him out as the following people allege. <laughs> Yes. 
ukuthi sixalekile kakhulu ingabi yele uyasithola enkonzweni engapho enkonzweni lapho sihlalela khona kakhulu ngoba ilapho esuke sicela ingethelele kakhulu ngoba eh idini esikhulwa kudlula bonke labantu abathi bahambe inkonzo abathanda za ngoba sukwe bekhaleli izinto abangazazi thina sukwe sazi ukuthi hey changa imuyisile lo muntu kodwa ngenxa yendlala ngenxa yomsebenzi wami ukuthi ngiphuma kuphi akusho lutho kodwa umsebenzi wenkabi noma inkabi umuntu ongathi unesibindi ngoba umuntu okwazi ukuhlala naye ixoxa nayo kodwa azi ukuthi uzokushaya ekhanda fomu eh akana ke ngadla ndawonye kodwa ngazi ukuthi uzokushaya ngoba sengikhokhelile siyathathwa bela yiwa ma abantu bomthetho yekhulu lezi sithe yosi bani bani uyaqaka ndodwa awohamba ushayela yena umsebenzi wenkabi mina ngisebenza nje ngeintelligent ngiresearcher ngiyatracker ngiyabhala yonke imovement yakho oyenzani ngiyabuka ukuthi wenzani ukukhonzeni uphuzani udlani uhlala nobani wenzani kanjani ngize ngizathu sokuthi eh umsebenzi wakho uya ufuna ukuya ukubha phe ucina sofika ngisho efonini yakho ukuthi contact uba kanjani ifoni le wenza kanjani because nawo uxhumene nabantu abakhulu kulula ngoba siyayithenga na ibodyguard angithi ba ngabantu bahlale emphakathini na siyabakhuluma nawo sihlale nawo sikhulume mese siya indoda utha to drink wakho eh bambu drink wakho kanje 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 eh ngisemsebenzi namwe ngifazana sengithi yazi ukuthi ngisebenza kanjani futhi muphalama wazi uthi indoda sisaba eh ngoba ngisemsebenzi nawo semsebenzini angifuna ukuthi ngandla kho ilabo ngoba kahle kahle ngiqonde wena ngifuna lo muntu engithunywa uyena straight wena melala lo muntu uzoqhubeka uthola umsebenzi amaphoyisa azale makhaya azale mndenini angabantu bangabafowethu eh ukuze kube lula unezinto nje ngifuna ihlamvu fana ngiwathathe emaphoyisa empela fana ngiqale ngikhulume nawo eh bafowethu eh nami ngisemsebenzi bayazi uthe umfowethu nakuphila nomsebenzi okanje muhambe endleleni i wona show to number road block ngahamba ikhansela le lo machine kune road block endawo ngoku R35 ungasahamba ngawo kune road block aphume kugula amasosha nakuze phume eh eh bu fihle tulozi lakho eh ulandele kahle ngoba bazokusesha phela imoto yakho eh uyazi ukuthi ithuluzi mulifakile walifihla ngalifihla ke indawo ngifihla kuye umuntu ngiye kuzithola noma uhamba nenje ekhogelayo ngoba siyazoba izinto zethu ukuthi mingikhogela inja ingadonsa ilutho ngoba izinja zikhogela iphunga lomsizo wesibhamu mese sesizobela izinto ngaye sezwa lutho nge eh mese ngiyahlula mina la pure block bebe check isibhamu some some tetweni nge right ngiyahlula ngilandela lo yamuntu lo yabo noma akudlule khona lapho kuvale kubona ukuthi ngiyendlulela sengiyama ngoba sewengele uthwa ungasahamba sengibuyele muva sengezwe plan b amaphusa siwathi ngela lokho broke my heart to watch aka's ccv footage of his murder that hit had friends written all over it enemies must as friends they led him to her to his demise like a sheep going to slaughter You know <laughs> most of us are not equipped to handle the fame the power and the influence that is bestowed upon us yes we may have the talents the ambitions and maybe the capabilities to get to where we want to but we forget to train the spiritual defenses that we need to keep us there you must understand that the higher you rise your enemies are going to form against you The problem with us is that we forget to listen to our guides and the forces that protect us against evil because we're too busy enjoying the fame, the influence, the parties, the distractions, the substance, the lust, the ego. That's the problem. It doesn't help being a flower bright and beautiful to the world and yet you don't have the roots 
that will sustain you during tough times. When you pray for the rain, be prepared to deal with the mud. And if you know and you believe that you're destined for great things, that you're a tool of light and good in this world, you better start waking up. And when I say wake up, I mean spiritual awakening to understand that you need to be in tune with your guides and God who will direct you and protect you and guide your feet against the plans that have been formed against you. It saddened me to watch AK walk into that trap. And I could imagine that his ancestors was shouting, trying to get his attention to say, don't go there, don't trust him. But he wasn't listening. He couldn't hear them. When the first shooter who's wearing a bucket hat, a cream white sweater, and black pants appears, AKA's friend in the white t-shirt and khaki pants spots him and pulls a fake stretch indicating that it's time. He turns around to confirm that AKA is indeed exiting the restaurant. Then he moves towards the white vehicle to communicate with the second shooter who's wearing black. The bald guy in black, who could either be AKA's friend or bodyguard, also exits the restaurant and joins his traitor friend in the white t-shirt and khaki pants. Both individuals look very uneasy as though they know what's about to happen. When Shooter 1 approaches AKA, the guy in the white t-shirt and khaki pants cautiously moves towards the crew in order to put up a united front in case footage is studied. It seems the bald guy in black managed to enter the vehicle during the shooting. But how? Who opened for him? Some argue that if the two friends of AKA knew what was about to come, they would have maintained distance, while others assert that if you know that you're not the target and you've been paid off to play your part, you're highly unlikely to have anything to worry about. I say, Go tricky, go tense, go wow, and you can't put anything past human beings. They're capable of being jealous of an innocent child. What would prevent them from being jealous of a successful man? Anyone could be behind this gruesome act, especially since there were so many quote unquote foreseers who predicted it. We must pray for two celebrities in, in South Africa. One name is AKA. Eh? Keenan Forbes. His grave is dog fresh. There is an attack against him. And the other one is Sumizi. I've been saying Sumizi is very seriously. South Africa is under a doom. There is a punishment they are going through. Lions will be let out, walking on the streets. I was... On Tuesday, that's when a voice came to me and said, white beasts will be moving around. And when I checked the news, I saw that one cheetah is already out. So these are what the kingdom of darkness are planning for the nation. May God deliver the nation. Amen. And some who even claim that they can bring AKA back to life. I can't imagine how devastated those who genuinely loved AKA are and how triggering this is for the Dembe family as well as those who genuinely loved Anele. So prayers up to them. May both Anele and AKA rest in eternal peace and may justice be served. Makala Onke.